Well, okay, it wasn't that. So it was a shield that was about this big and that wide, <laughs> and it was a kite shield. And the reason it was only that high was that I had very early figured out that I didn't want it to be this high <laughs> and cut the bottom off. <coughs> so it was rounded bottom, kite shield, and I had my motorcycle helmet, which was a big improvement over fencing masks, <laughs> I thought. And I went up and I had my garb and I had my sword made out of half flattened EMT conduit. Half flattened, so it had a nice round edge. And I was ready to go do the tournament. And there was the king and the queen. Wow, we had kings and queens. And then Trying to remember the name he went by. He was a Byzantine. And he knocked over the stove that was behind the throne, heating up co coffee and tea for people. And everybody decided it was an assassination attempt. <laughs> he was a Byzantine, after all, and everyone knows that Byzantium is a hotbed of assassination. Plot, plotting and stuff like that. So he was hauled out in front of the king and executed summarily. <laughs> <coughs> Which was like really impressive. And then it was time to line up for the tournament. We all lined up for the, tur for the tournament. We all came forward. Each of us, you know, bowed, you know, with, with our weapons and shields in hand, and <coughs> carrying our helmets, bowed, said who we were fighting for, if we were fighting for anyone. And this fellow comes forward, bows in front of God and everybody. He says, I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn. And this pile of gauntlets appears at his feet. <laughs> this pile of gauntlets, which one of them was mine, <coughs> as I said, appears at his feet and everybody sort of lines up. And he's going, what? <laughs> and I challenge you. And so we got to fight him basically in random order as he pawed through the <laughs> pile of gauntlets and picked one out and said, okay, who, <laughs> who's this belong to? <clears throat> and I remember, well, this was back before we had really codified a lot of stuff. So I remember charging him with my shield knocking him to the ground, falling upon him, pushing the shield up over his face. Remember this? Right? So I needed to get it out of my way. And then sawing him open with my sword. <laughs> uh, and that was, to my mind, the highlight of that event. Um, because it basically said, you can't claim to be famous. Now, in those days, of course, Aragorn was as real as, say, William the Marshal, or Charnay, or Lull. You know, he, he was a famous person, and this guy obviously wasn't him, because he didn't win a single one of those bouts. <laughs> so, and his sword was whole. So, you know, this was not Aragorn, and he deserved every pounding he got. So that's a, that's a tale of one of the early days, and uh, will that satisfy you?